It's never happened to me, literally. I don't know why. It only happens to you guys. Likes the white man's lips, man. <laughs> <laughs> Racist motherfucker. Welcome to Curiosity Public. My name is Dutch. My name is Jules. My name is Dylan the Pious. The robot. And welcome back to another installment of our Bourbon Contender series. Bing, bing, bing. That's right. We've broken up every bourbon into three weight classes. Wow, that was really bad grammar. But anyway, it, we'll explain it later. But in the middle weight class was which what we're in. Wow. <sighs> we're in the middle weight category. <laughs> middle proof. Start the episode over. Middle weight and uh, the reigning champion is Dylan's beloved Weller foolproof can it be beaten we're in round six there's not a lot left here so uh yeah it's either gonna die in the Let's ring and fall out Bickens. fall out uh, finish run out wow yeah wow <laughs> can somebody else do the intro please like i can't my brain's not working yeah or uh, will we be able anyway, to defeat him there we go and so anyway jules and i have come up with some contenders to go up against weller foolproof the way this works is the reigning champion dylan here Obviously, we know what his bottle is. He's gonna have to leave the set when we reveal our bottles. We're gonna pour them double blind. So even though we know what the selection is, we don't know what's what. Dylan will have no idea what our picks are. And he'll have to see if he can determine which one is the Weller, because he's just gonna vote for that. He's not actually gonna pick his favorite, but we know that. Um, all right, well, uh, let's quickly run through our weight categories. Wow. It's like everything is like, oh, that guy's gonna cheat. That guy's gonna cheat all pretty the much, time. Pretty much. Burr, 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 we had to go burr, burr. through a whole no, no, protocol know. just for this yeah, we, series. We had to get your earbuds. We had to get your earbuds. Dumbest thing ever. This is the dumbest thing ever because Dutch Whatever. Hang on, won all I gotta the say. welter and the heavy, and he's been walking around like. You know when Dylan started losing is when we implemented the headphones. No. That, that so I rest my case. True. True. So yeah, anyway. that's why we're uh, doing this, this right? It's a good bottle, but the other ones you're cheating on. So anyway, no, we got. What do we have? What do we got, Jules? Three categories across the different Dumb. proofs. For <laughs> hashtag bully. For the welter. Day. All right, everybody, for the the comment below. Proof. If you write wow. hashtag bully, it's in support of Me. Dylan the Pious. That's right. Anyway, for welter proof, uh, we got from 80 to 99. For uh, middle proof, we go from 100 to 119. And for heavy, it's 120 up. Those are all like, it's welter weight, middle weight, <laughs> and heavyweight. No, like, proof. Weight. Proof. And it's called the bourbon contender. All right, guys. Now we're gonna reveal you our picks. So Dylan, go put the earmuffs on, go into the soundproof room. We will see you later. Ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, so I believe that he's in the room, put the earmuffs on. So this is an interesting proof range. Ooh. Let's show him what we got. My pick, old Carter. This is batch 15, proof point 117. The thing is, bl uh, blends right. always mess them up. Yeah. And we each have a All blend, like a non distillery yeah. blend. So this one. So check it out, guys. I have the. Here, I'll put it up. Yeah, I'm still on there. Tell everybody what it is. Barrel. The gold. The gold at 113. This is an expensive. expensive. Yeah, this one's expensive. This is from Ben Richards. So another one. <laughs> Oh, really? He left it here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's not even our so bottle. Not... <laughs> so this but is yeah, our This is a crazy blend. So this is going to be really weird. Um, the oh man, I don't I don't know what's going to go on with this. This is going to be really interesting because I think this is going to throw me off. I think that's going to I think that's going to mess everybody up. Actually, yeah. all right, let's hide these. But let's here. do it. These have been poured. I don't know what Dylan's glasses are all about there. We're gonna get tasting, and uh, we're gonna determine the winner of the Walter Waite division. Dylan, you wanna ring that bell? Ding, ding. 
Want to ring the bell? All right. Ding, ding. We've had some time to taste. We've gone through these. Is it Captain Crunch? <laughs> Apparently everybody's ready. And uh, we're gonna go through and reveal our favorites on the nose and on the palate. And then we're gonna venture our guesses. And uh, Dylan, since you are the uh, the reigning champ, you get to go first. Sure. Go nose. All right, so red, I thought had a pretty good balance. Um, it actually had a component of like the grape which really threw me off. Um, I think it screwed up the rest of the nosing, but <clears throat> in the end, it had the, it had that, it had, what I felt like was a good extraction of the grain. So like the grain was suppressed, a lot of the sweetness were forward, the, the oak wasn't overwhelming. I thought the barrel selection probably on this was a little bit better. I mean, that's what I thought I was tasting. Um, tasted around 110. And then it had a little bit of that peach. So that's that was the aroma. Um, <clears throat> the green had really like huge grape forward, um, fruit, very sweet. Um, had, it skewed toward uh, summer fruits, ripe fruits, and then that touch of jam. And then this one threw me for a loop, the blue. I felt like it had like high rye, low rye. I don't know. I didn't even. I th initially I thought I was like, is this even bourbon? Because there was like, like almost like American whiskey component. And there's a really grainy component, mm. and they couldn't pull out the grain. I mean, like a lot of the sweetness tried to come through, but there's a, definitely a grain component on the blue. So ultimately, I felt like the best aroma was green. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joel, let's go. It's a, All right, red. It's good. <laughs> green. What's better? Blue was cereal. Yeah. Captain Crunch yeah, cereal. Captain Crunch, like, yeah, Captain Crunch. I literally yeah. opened up the box. Exactly. exactly. And um, ultimately, I landed on green as my favorite nose. Wow. Yeah. I uh, am completely different than you guys on the nose. I think we'll be more similar on the palate, but I thought the red was by far the best nose. It wasn't even best? close for me. Yeah, the, uh, after the red, no, the green no. smelled like nothing, yeah, and the blue was too tannic. So the red. green has more depth, dude. No, yeah. the green was like muted. <laughs> what? Be, I can't smell anything on the green. I can smell tons of fruit and everything That's on the red. muted. Oh, the red is way better on the nose. Way better on the nose. Mm. Anyway, I'm obviously I'll vote it. All right, let's move on to palette. Mm -hmm. Let's hear your analysis and your favorite. Yeah, palette. so the red had good fruits. Mm. I liked it. It was very, um, I felt like this was a legacy profile, mm -hmm. legacy distillery profile. Um, I felt like it had a grape component. I didn't think it had too much rye, but who knows. Uh, but whatever it was, they, they were able to pull that out. So there wasn't no tannic component. There wasn't any like overwhelming wood. They had a nice little touch of oak there. Um, I don't know, it just kind of tasted like good barrel selection, it was, it was good. Uh, the green had like a little bit of the richness Lots of fruit, uh, um, a lot of berries, a lot of jam, um, and that was ended up being my favorite, green. And ultimately I chose green uh, as the winner. Blue had, again, the grain. It was just like, yeah. I, I don't know what happened. Either this is a singular mash bill where they just couldn't extract the, the grain and therefore they blended it with different years. It felt like, you know, anywhere between like seven. I, I had like some components I would drink, I would taste it, and then it was like, oh, this is a pretty long finish. Other times it was much younger. Mm. So it was kind of like, I was like, what is going on? That's why I thought it was like multiple mash bills mm. mixed together. Like, you know, it's one of those like weird MGP slash Kentucky somewhere, blah, 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 right? Tennessee. Yeah. That's what I thought. I, you know, this was my least favorite. I felt like the balance was off. So ultimately I chose green. Wow. Jules. <laughs> uh, well, so red was really good. And yeah. uh, 
this was hard for me only because um, so I was getting more spice out of this mm. um, at first, uh, but then when I reset my palette, <laughs> I wasn't getting as much spice. I was getting it more on the green. Yeah. Mm. Um, ultimately, green had like the most balance though mm -hmm. to me, mm. and like the finish was just right too. Like great length, and then also sweetness came out on the finish, which is what I really enjoyed. That's it out. Blue, very similar notes. Yeah. That trace from the nose to the palette in terms of like that raw feeling. You know, like again the cereals, what I was describing, Captain Crunch out of the box, um, and the finish was really drying for me. So, uh, and ultimately ended up with green. That is my selection. We have a winner, well. guys. Green so, is the winner. Gives me some freedom here. Good. Uh, <laughs> Stupid. No, I, I, I honestly, I flip-flopped between every single one of these on my favorite for the palette at one point or another. <laughs> no, you didn't. I absolutely did. Uh, first pass through, I didn't like the red. The uh, green has consistently been the best balanced. Yeah. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. But the first pass through, I thought the blue had the best flavors. Okay, I went back through. And then I tasted what you guys are talking about, the funky, yeah. grainy thing on the blue. And I'm like, okay, that's out. Yeah. But then the red had these big, bold flavors, big fruits. And it became really between the red and the green for me. Mm. And it's kind of a toss up, but the mm. green consistently better balance. I don't think the flavors are as loud, no. which is kind of weird. And yeah. that made me second guess my guesses. Mm. No, I, I feel you know? Yep. Yeah, so I, I don't know. It was really a toss up for me at the end, but I will. I'll go with green just for the consistency of the balance. So right. unanimous winner. Unanimity. Green. Do you have guesses, Dylan? I do. Let's hear it. So I think the green was the Weller full proof. Yeah, I think it's gonna. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. You're hoping that it will leave the arena a winner forever. The red. This felt like a legacy, and I felt like this is. Um, Initially, I thought this was like a single barrel um, hmm. because it was, it didn't have like that blend. Um, sometimes like blends come out with a, like a weird chaos towards mm. the finish and things like that. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say this is Blanton's gold. <laughs> single barrel. Sorry. <laughs> and the reason is, the reason is because I felt like this is gonna be the Jules, Jules pick. Really? Yeah. Oh, right. this is so interesting. So I'm gonna say Blanton's gold. Okay. Who knows? Who cares? Whatever. Right. I, and just because I, I felt like it was a legacy distillery, flavors that were familiar. Okay. Who knows? It's All a right. single barrel, so who knows, right? The blue I thought was Dutch. I think he was overthinking it. He was trying to get some weird blend somewhere that I didn't realize. I wrote down here, prideful goat, like totes and stuff like that. I wrote prideful goat, Kentucky owl, king of Kentucky. Well, that's not it. That's not too bad. Um, Old Carter, Doc Swinson, Barrel Pick MGP, Seal Bach Pick, you know, random stuff. So ultimately, I felt like this had the weird rye of Old Carter. So I'm going to pick Old freaking Carter because I did not like Old Carter. Wow. And I did not understand why. So I thought this was weird. This could be some weird barrel pick MGP. Okay, pick though. 30 more things and go for it. <laughs> right. So anyway, I'll, I'll end there. All right. Um, I think the only thing I can really say, so I do think green is the Weller. Uh, between the two, I actually think blue is my pick. And I think red is Dutch's. I'm with you. Although there was a point in time, me too, where, where I had them. Yep, yep, yeah, exactly. Where I had the red and the blue, blue swapped, yeah. and then there was a point in time where I had the green, green and the red yep, swapped. Yep, I did the same. And that's thing, what's messing so. with me right now. Yeah, because I'm going I back to the proof, and I'm like, wait, am yeah. I completely really? wrong? Really, you would pick this? Yeah. <laughs> this smells like. All right, shall we green, reveal? Man? Let's. Of what's course, what, we gotta guys. reveal. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm more curious about what this is. public. I don't know what this is. The red. Yeah, I really don't know what that red is. Well, let's confirm green. Winner. Confirm green first. Watch. Green go. is. I'm sorry, Dylan. It's a well. Yes! <laughs> I was shocked. Woo! That was well All right, played. Let's see now. Okay. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Okay. I'm just. Okay. So you gotta go with like the bomb. Threw you me, gotta go with the bomb drop. What is blue? Right, this, we got it. We got it. We're this, right. Okay. Right. This oh, threw okay. me for a loop. Right. Okay. The red. No, sorry. The blue. The yeah, blue. blue. The blue, which was third place, or sorry, we not third place, but like yeah, which I thought was pick. Dutch's, but I thought it was Dutch's. It was. What is it? It was not mine. It was Jules's, and what it was it? Barrel Gold. What? Yeah. <laughs> we'll That's jump on the blend weird. description, but 
Ooh. Yeah. It is a blend. Yeah. Oh, it is a blend. Yeah, no, okay. good job on that. Really? The blue? Yeah. What the heck is this? Is that MGP? Well, it's, barrel. it's a blend. I don't know what I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. I okay. think there is some Kentucky in it. I don't actually know. Oh, it says Tennessee, Indiana, and Kentucky. Yeah, it's, a big, hey. it's a big blend. I did say blend. Blend of Kentucky. You said literally everything, though, so yeah. it doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> All right, the blue. Here's the reveal for you. Wait, we did the blue, I thought. Yeah, sorry, the red. red. Sorry, the red, red. was that uh, I don't know. My pick. I have no clue. Is this a blends? No. It is an old carter. Old carter 15. Which is crazy because freaking a, I, yeah. I screwed it up. Yeah, you thought it was I a thought this was gold, I, which is so mind blowing to me. Yeah, I thought it was. A, yeah, crazy. Yeah, no, because right? this one is like which 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 batch 15, is it? Though? Fifteen. Oh, okay. I don't know. I think I. Well, here's our. You and I were drinking this in Vegas. I just don't think you remember it. Yeah, <laughs> that's remember exactly it. why. That's why I did because I'm like <laughs> I think he kind of liked it, <laughs> and he didn't want to say he liked it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. Now I remember. Yeah. I don't remember this flavor. That's the problem. Yeah, it kind of has the fruits, and that's yeah. why I thought it would be an interesting one. And then we we drink. kind of both agreed that this would just be there to throw throw everybody for, for a loop. Yeah. Oh, oh, stick man. With team, maybe I don't know. Dang! <laughs> Look at this. I just wrote everything. You literally wrote everything. All right. Well, hey guys. But it was there. Right. Well, our foolproof so is uh, it is empty, undefeated, man. Yeah. Undefeated. But it is out, so if we do go into a round seven of this, we're all gonna come with uh, fresh picks, and maybe we don't reveal any of them. What do you think? Oh, true. We could we could figure out a way to pour that, yeah. or have somebody come pour them for us, and then it'll be a fresh start, a new start, as Jules likes to say. Yeah. And uh, Jules, start. would you like to say our outro? Please tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, let's know. Subscribe for more videos from Crafty Public. If you want to help us out, please consider joining Crafty Private, our membership program here on YouTube and Patreon. We're also selling t-shirts. Links in the description, as always. And we have a podcast. Please listen, download, check them out. All the major players. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. Yeah, the balance. You can't beat the balance of this. Yeah, like it's it's you know it's well, single barrel too. Totally yeah. threw me off, man. But the, I know. Wait, dude. Is, is this, this is this old Carter? I forgot. Is it a a, a blend too? They all are. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a small batch. It's batched. I don't know why this this you know it's this is a MGP. Oh. It doesn't taste like. Just screwed it up. I think I it's got some got really up. old MGP in it because there's no grain. There's no grain. And it's a lot of the fruits that you would expect yeah. from a legacy. That's why I thought yeah. it was going to be a legacy. Yeah, it tastes like it. Yeah. It tastes, I mean, it's good. Oh, it's good. It's just not as well balanced to me as the green, as the Weller. Got close. Got close on this one. Well, undefeated, man. Tasted like undefeated. Winner. I don't know how you beat this. What are undefeated. you going to bring for the next round? A Weller full proof. <laughs> <laughs> new, a new bottle. <laughs> I mean, we could do that. You could just keep going with a different batch if you have one. Bullshit. One more.